It's no secret electric vehicles are gaining popularity. You see them everywhere on, driving on the roads today. But EV owners say finding a place to charge their cars isn't easy. I spoke with the Department of Transportation and HECO who tell me they're working to change that. There are about 19,000 registered electric vehicles in Hawaii and 5,200 plug-in hybrids, according to the state's energy department. But EV owners say there aren't enough places to charge them. It's a rat race. Uh, one person pulls out, immediately someone will be pulling back in. So you're really lucky if you find one. If you're going to like the beach, like if you're driving like to Haleiva or like the North Shore, there's not any charging stations near there. And it's like, how am I going to get back home? According to the Department of Transportation, there are only 490 public charging stations in Honolulu. Hawaiian Electric Company says Hawaii has the lowest charging ports per electric vehicle in the country. That needs to change. The um, focus from the electric utilities perspective is how do we create that critical backbone of infrastructure to make sure that people can sleep at night knowing that they'll be able to charge their car when they need to go to work in the morning. Marcio says HECO currently has 32 charging stations in the state, with another 300 in the works. They're just waiting for the Public Utilities Commission's approval. The DOT is also pushing for more charging ports. Our plan shows 12 locations uh, throughout the state that we'd be putting these in, and we're starting with eight starting in the summer. Once they have those in, he says they're hoping to add more. We want to make sure that we have charging stations throughout, so it'll be just like um, gas stations for everyone. While some of the charging stations are free, not all of them are. But I'm told that it's still cheaper and better for the environment than paying for gas. When we designed this program, that's one of the things that we really kept in mind is how do we stay competitive with the price of gas? Marcio says it's usually cheaper to charge midday. Evening peak hours do cost more. But Sniffin says it's definitely cheaper. Snippet says the push to add more charging ports goes hand in hand with the state's goal of zero emissions, clean energy by 2045. I think a lot of people suffer from charging anxiety out there when you can't find it and you see that needle going down or the I'm meter sure going they down. Do. I'm sure yeah. they do. Everybody I spoke to pretty much said that if you've got to look for one in a mall, yeah. it's very stressful. And every EV owner has been there. <laughs>